All right, I am here with Bernard Golden, uh, CEO of Nauka, and Bernard was our keynote speaker at today's Open Group Conference here in San Francisco, and gave a wonderful presentation. So, Bernard, to, to start off our, our interview, can you maybe sum up the presentation that you gave in about 30 seconds or less? Sure. My, my main theme was that cloud computing, particularly public cloud computing from the big providers, is becoming an incredible force, an incredible framework for computing. That means every enterprise IT organization has to figure out how to respond to that. And one of the challenges is that each of them, each of these big providers, is, is building out their portfolio of services, really rich capabilities around transcoding video or sending messaging or doing analytics or whatever it might be. So for IT organizations, they, they're challenged with, do I commit to a provider and take advantage of those higher level services to build applications? Or do I stick with more portable capabilities that have the effect of cutting you off from so much, so much of that functionality and then puts more of the responsibility for that kind of functionality on yourself on, as the IT organization to install, manage, configure, update, and so forth and so on. That, in my mind, is going to be the major challenge for IT organizations over the next five years. Okay. Now, in your presentation, you had a wonderful quote that I really enjoyed. You said that removing one bottleneck exposes the next bottleneck. Uh, and then you talked a little bit about the virtuous cycle between business drivers, cloud, agile, and DevOps. How do you see IT for IT fitting into that picture? Well, I mean, I think uh, IT for IT can help a ton with um, surrounding the functionality of cloud computing with a process that sort of ties together a value chain around it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that, that is the most important thing going for IT. Um, what I said was that in the past, IT was you know, help run the business. There was some external activity, product, whatever it might be, that the business did. And then when it wanted to keep track of it or set, a, set an invoice out, it said, oh, I need some IT capability. Now IT is part of that. And so you've got to figure out, route, how do I build value into the value chain? And how do I make sure that IT is a component of that, is integrated to that, is infused into it? And that's how I see the tie together between um, value chain and the business process and the IT part of it. Okay. So we started off our, our conversation talking about um, the, the study that, that saw, um, saw the adoption of public cloud hitting 40% by 2020. Let's, let's finish up with your perspective on where does it end? How far is this cloud journey going to go? Well, that, that's what I said, which was the, the interesting question left unaddressed unpresented was what happens in 2021 or 2022 and so on and so forth. Does it plateau at 41%, which is what is it, it was the survey respondents said in 2020, or does it continue to grow? Um, in my view, it will continue to grow. Most IT organizations have a huge cost structure embedded in their legacy systems, their on-premise data centers, and so forth. And there's somewhat limited value there, but it's also very difficult to extract value because they're very um, rigid systems, they're hard to integrate, etc., cetera, et cetera. I believe a big challenge for CIOs and senior IT leadership is going to be how do we extract cost out of that stuff and then either put them into a very low cost, you know, maybe outsourced SaaS kind of a model mm -hmm. or figure out what it actually does deliver value and we have to modernize that and build it and move it into the cloud. And that's going to be a, a a big uh, action on it because otherwise you sort of are stuck in a world that says we've got a bunch of unchanging stuff, 85% or 90% of our budget is spoken for, it's of limited value, and we've got to try and revolutionize the rest of our business on 10% of our IT budget. So you've got to figure out how do I unlock that money mm -hmm. and reduce the cost structure there. I, I believe that an awful lot of it's going to be I'm going to find a SaaS provider that does something similar. And for those things that are custom to my business, that are differentiating, I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to rewrite it so it's uh, modern, uh, offers more functionality, more extensibility. And I'm going to place that, I'm going to deploy that in an environment that is the best suited for it, which is probably going to be a cloud environment. Well, Bernard, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your thought leadership. Appreciate the time today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.